Hi everyone. So um, as you've probably heard by now, Parse, it's owned by Facebook, uh, is shutting down in January of next year. So this is just a quick video showing you how to uh, port Parse server and uh, your Parse database to your existing apps over to Heroku. And it should just take a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, to start, you should already have a Heroku account set up. Uh, log into your Parse account and go to App Settings. And uh, the other window you want to have open is the Git repo for Parse Platform. So the first step, and you've got to make sure to do it in this order, because if you do it out of the order, it's going to, you know, screw up. So you hit Deploy to Heroku, simple enough, and name your app. This is for an app called Foodcast, uh, Foodcast Parse. Oh, only lowercase, okay. Foodcast Parse. All right. Now we need to grab our app ID and master key from Parse. Security keys. Grab your app ID. Paste it over here. Oops, there we go. Now a little master key. And here's an important note. If you're doing this, this works just if you're only using data from Parse, this will work great. If you have files or images stored in your database as well, um, you're going to want to take an extra step that I'll show you at the end of the video. So click Deploy. And it automatically spins up with Mongo Lab. I'll show you what to do there in a second. So you can see the progress here. There we go. Up and running. Click on Manage App. Go right to Mongo Lab. So we have the Parse server over on Heroku now. Now we need to tell that Parse server what to do. You have to do the one Parse server per app, essentially, the way this is set up. Uh, so click on Mongo Lab. This will be the new home of your Parse database. Uh, and what you need to do first here is go to Users and Add Database User. Uh, we'll make the username Bob. Password test, test, create. And then you wait for Bob. Okay, Bob is in the database. And you copy the string right here that starts with mongodb colon forward slash forward slash. Now here is uh, the crucial part. So parse server's over there now to get the database over to Heroku. Um, here's an important note. Before you do this, export your data so you have it backed up and clone your app because once you migrate this database, you can only do that one time. Uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, parse set up so you can only migrate the database one time. So uh, you click on migrate when you're ready. And in here, you paste in the string you just grabbed from the Mongo lab and replace the DB user and DB password with your actual user password, which is Bob test, pop Bob colon test, uh, and now we should be good to go. We'll hit uh, begin migration, uh, and, and yeah, through SSL for, for speed time, we're going to hit migrate anyway, but SSL will basically encrypt the uh, data that's sent over. So now you just wait for it to let you hit finalize here, and then we'll verify the data is over on the Heroku side. And while it's doing that, I'll, I'll note a few other uh, things about this. Once it's actually ported, it will show up on Mongo Lab, but you will still for a period of time, I guess until they take down the uh, dashboard here, you'll still be able to see your data that's on this new server. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can still play around with it, but Parse is basically saying don't count on this uh, dashboard in its long-term use. Also, push notifications, you'll need to port to your own Node.js server. Um, uh, and cloud code, if you had cloud code before, you're actually a little better off because there are some limitations with cloud code that you won't have by doing your own Node.js scripts. So those two things you won't have 
uh, now that you're porting off of parts. Okay, hit finalize. Okay, so you can do it once. So there you'll see this. And let's go over to Mongo Lab. And we had zero collections before. Let's refresh and see if we have data. Bam, okay, so we've, we've got data there. And uh, now the server it, and the um, parse database are ported over to Heroku. There was an additional thing I wanted to show you while I'm in here. And you can, um, as I mentioned, you, if you refresh over here, you go to the browser, you'll still be able to see the code that is sitting now over on the Heroku server for a period of time until they take this down. All right, so now you've got your parse uh, database and server ported over to Heroku. So now, in this case, we're updating an iPhone app to point to the new server. Uh, you just grab the URL, and you can grab that right here from Heroku. Uh, so just app name, herokuapp.com. And here's the code to uh, plug it into. Uh, so it would be that URL forward slash parse, grab your app ID and client ID from parse from your app settings. Um, one thing to note though here is parse client configuration. Uh, if you use CocoaPods, uh, it's not, for some reason this class is not in there and it's also not on the parse website. So in order to do this, we had to go to the GitHub repo um, and uh, if you scroll down here, there's a parse iOS SDK that does have it. So just pour it over to that one and then it will work. Um, so now for the last thing I mentioned, which is uh, if you're wanting, when you do that migration from parse database to the MongoDB database on Heroku uh, to retain images and files, here's what you need to do. After you've done the deploy, uh, you will, let's see, if you go to Heroku where your app is, go to deploy and the code right here, shows you how to, and you've got to already be logged into Heroku in, um, in the terminal. And I've got my folder right here. You can see it just created the, the folder for it and cloned the files there. And just change, uh, move directories into that directory, cast parse. And you'll want to push an update after Let's see, there is an index.js, I believe. Let's open an atom. Right here on this, uh, on this line here, add an extra line, input file key space, and then you'll want to add your key from parse. And you can find that, app settings, keys, go to file key here. Oops, copy that one. Put in here, save that. And then you'll want to push this out to the server because right now it's just sitting local. Um, and the command to do that is right here. You just do git add, git commit, git push to master. So after you've done all that, then you would do that step of going into parse and hitting migrate and, and plugging in that MongoDB URL. All right, so I hope that saved you some time and is useful and please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if, uh, if you like videos like this, you find them useful, we'll be glad to do more in the future.